So in the last couple of days, we have been observing some crazy price movements in the market, especially for the Bitcoin price. You can see that we had this severe dip towards the downside and then immediately bounced off of our support zone. And now we're moving back towards the upside. We're finding some resistance at this level. So in this video, we will be talking about what we could expect for the Bitcoin price in the next couple of hours or days and also discuss this recent price action, the important price levels to account for. And most importantly, the question you all have in mind right now, is the bull market officially back for Bitcoin? And has the next major rally already began for the Bitcoin price? All of that will be discussed in this short and straightforward video. But let us begin inside the daily time frame and discuss what exactly has been going on lately for Bitcoin. And as you guys can see right now, for the past couple of hours, we have been facing some resistance at this resistance zone. And that is at around $65,500. So we are definitely seeing some selling pressure over this level right here and the bears are definitely trying to take over now i know many of you are wondering is the bull market officially back for the bitcoin price and have we already marked the bottom right here for this overall downtrend are we now gearing up for the next major leg towards the offside i will try to answer that right now so first of all there is one condition that should be met in order for me to flip bullish for Bitcoin in the short term. And that is that we must see Bitcoin break this overall bearish structure by first of all, breaking above this previous swing high right here. Once we do, or the moment we do see Bitcoin successfully break above this level or above the previous swing high and flip that to support, hold that as support and then continue the, continue the uptrend in the short term, that is when we should start to consider that oh this could be the beginning of the next leg towards the upside this could be the beginning of the next major rally towards the upside because we have first of all broken the bearish structure by breaking above the previous swing high and we even held it as support so that is the confirmation i'm waiting for at the moment we are not seeing that yet and it looks like we are again getting rejected at resistance right here so if the case right now is we got rejected and we're going to be moving back towards the downside, then we are still inside of this bearish structure by consecutively putting in lower highs, essentially. So we are still inside a downtrend and there is no reason to flip bullish in the short term, honestly. So again, if you guys have remembered, the confirmation is we must break above this previous swing high and hold it as support and that is the break of the bearish structure and that is when i might start to say oh this is something interesting to look out for because we have broken the bearish structure so there is a high probability that the bottom could have been marked right here and we are now gearing up for the next major move towards the upside possibly towards 100k per bitcoin so definitely something interesting to look out for watch out for this confirmation now let us discuss what i am expecting in the long term so if you guys have been following the channel you are aware that we have two scenarios laid out in the longer weekly time frames we have scenario one and scenario two scenario one is the more bullish case and that and scenario one is that we're expecting bitcoin to essentially move sideways in the next couple of weeks within this range between support and resistance and eventually have that break towards the upside and continue the bull market. But scenario two is that we could expect Bitcoin to tank even lower towards 52.2k so that we will, able, we will be able to scoop up the liquidity over here, which would help us push the Bitcoin price towards the upside and continue the next leg towards the upside. So again, scenario one is that we could be moving within a range between support and resistance between 69k and 58k. But scenario two is that we could even dive down lower for Bitcoin towards 52.2k, scoop up the liquidity that will help us move towards the upside and continue the next leg towards the upside. So overall, I believe that we are still in the middle of Bitcoin's cycle. I believe that we are not yet topping off right here. I believe that the, the blow off top for Bitcoin could be around 150k because that is my that is what my personal chart is saying. I could be wrong, right? I could be wrong. The the top could occur 
way earlier than we expected. But personally, in my analysis, I'm expecting the top to be somewhere around 150k. I could be wrong, but that is my analysis if you're interested to, to know. So I believe that we are still going through one of the biggest opportunities of this cycle. And I think it's going to be a bad decision to, to be shaken out right here by these dips. Because as all of you know, dips are very normal in the bull market. You can see right here. We are in an overall uptrend, but we had rough times. We had dips along the way, but the trend, the general trend is up. And I believe that in the next couple of weeks or months, we're going to be seeing that next major leg towards the upside for the Bitcoin price. And we are only going to be, we're only going to keep going parabolic and parabolic. And I believe that would, that would be a big opportunity, especially for all coins. So at the moment, my game plan is I'm, I'm trying to not get shaken out. I'm not looking at my portfolio because I'm down bad, but I am holding tight on my spot positions and I'm pretty much chilling right now. So that is my game plan. I believe that we are still in the middle of the cycle and it's too early to sell your positions, but that is just my analysis. So we are approaching one of the biggest bull runs of our life. And if you are serious about making life-changing wealth in this market, you can no longer do this alone. You need a group of people. You need that network of people who would supply you with value, who would supply you with information and who would help you spot opportunities in this market. And that can only be accessed in my private networking group over in Discord. This is called the Swan Group, where I release weekly market insights and updates. The reason why our members are growing rapidly is because all we do is provide value with one another and help each other elevate in this market. So if you are not in this group yet, you are missing out. So be sure to join through the link in the description and act now.